Our feature story this week takes us to a golf course. It's not just any golf course, however. You see, it's located on a farm. And there are only three greens, not the usual nine or 18. But as Farm Week's Jonathan Parrish shows us, the uniqueness of this course is what makes it so special to a lot of people. Down an unassuming road between Jackson and Vicksburg, Mississippi, there is a place. A place that at first glance makes people announce out loud with bewilderment. That's a golf course. Yes, it is a golf course. More specifically, it's the Halifax Holes. You won't find Halifax Holes listed in any golf magazines as one of the top places to play in the state. And a quick search of the internet doesn't reveal much information either. But make no mistake, this is a special place to many people. Halifax Holes is the brainchild of Ted Kendall III. Kendall is the former president of Gaddis Farms, a position his son Ted Kendall IV now has. Gaddis Farms is a 20,000 acre operation and produces livestock, cotton, soybeans, and corn. The area of the farm where the golf course sits was once a mule lot. The mules were used by employees of Gaddis Farms to herd livestock and perform various other jobs. As technology advanced and the mules were phased out, Ted Kendall didn't necessarily know what he would do with the now vacant land. And then one Sunday in the late 60s, Kendall went to play golf with his wife, and a passion for a game he had never played before was born. Uh, after a few years of marriage, and she was still trying to play one Sunday afternoon. She asked me to go play golf with her, and I said, well, I'll go, but I'm not going to hit a ball, and I'd rather be napping. And so on the first tee, I said, let me, let me try to hit one. And I, I hit a ball, and we never found it. And, uh, but from that day, I, I got the bug. I never was any good. I took lessons. I hid clubs in the back of my pickup truck and, and would go sneak around and take a lesson here, there, and yonder. But it, it never did much good. Although Ted Kendall's passion for the game grew, it was still quite a leap to go from just beginning a sport to building your own golf course. It's a leap Dennis Mason an employee of Gaddis Farms for over 50 years remembers well. Look, it was a strange thing. I think, Mr. Ted, what happened back years ago is in 70 or 69, between 69 and 70, he went to Raymond one Sunday afternoon. He was going to play golf, and he couldn't hardly get out there. And it took him five or six hours to play 18 holes. When he came home, he decided, you know, I believe I'll get my own golf course and I can play when I want to, <laughs> you know. And I think that's how it all got started, you know, back years ago. With a firm vision in place for what would now go on the former mule lot, Kendall and his neighbor began designing and building the course. But it wasn't long before they ran into a problem. The course just wasn't long enough to hit long irons and drivers. As soon as we got it, got them built, we realized we needed to be able to hit a long ball. So we looked across the road and we were mowing a pretty good yard over there. And uh, so we went over and built a green right in front of that house. But that was, that was the beginning. In 1970, the course opened for play. There were three greens and the course measured around 4,400 yards with a county road going through the middle of the course. It quickly became a unique hangout spot and afforded employees of Gaddis Farms and others in the area the opportunity to be introduced to a game they may have never otherwise played. You know, there's a lot of people that be just like me. I mean, I couldn't afford to go to a country club, join a country club and play. Uh, if it hadn't been for this golf course, I probably wouldn't be playing, I never would have played golf. And I'm just one of the many that has, he has helped. Of course, the newly built Halifax holes needed maintenance and upkeep. Ted Kendall turned to Mississippi State University for advice and answers to his questions. A plan was put into place and some used equipment was rounded up. Current Gaddis Farms employees were given responsibilities as far as the upkeep of the course. You know, we just, we get it done with, with the help that does a lot of other things. There's no full-time golf course person. We call on all volunteers of all kinds, Dennis and Robert Mason and uh, and a lot of other folks to, uh, to help get it done. It takes one person about two days a week to keep the fairways and greens cut, but the maintenance of the course is constant. 
Keeping greens and fairway mowers in working order is a big part of the course upkeep. As Dennis Mason says, there is always something to do to the golf course. I have put sod, laid sod, and uh, green, you know, fertilizer greens and punch of greens and all of that good stuff, you know, that people don't really know anything about except us, you know. But uh, it's, a, it's a good bit of work goes in to a golf course to make it look like this one. Back in the year 2000, after its first 30 years, the Halifax Holes course needed a remodel. Equipment had gotten better and golfers had gotten stronger. The course wasn't long enough and it became apparent after a few close calls and a few broken windshields that a county road no longer needed to be in the middle of the course. I hit a ball one day that bounced short and danced up in a dump truck and went on down the road. I mean, and uh, and and we had we hit a few cars, but they were mostly neighbors and friends, so we never had any problem. And but we did finally get it shut down. The decision was made to clear trees, extend the course, and add another green. The change increased the yardage of the three green course to over 5,700 yards. There are two par fives that measure over 500 yards each. However, the changes to the course weren't universally loved. A lot of the, a lot of the golfers out here who had played the old course for so long, they got kind of upset because they said, we ruined it, we made it too hard. But it became more like a golf course. It became apparent early on that the course could be used to help some local organizations in the area by hosting benefit tournaments. Halifax Holes is now the site of tournaments benefiting the Boy Scouts, a local private school, Hines Community College, and Clinton's high school baseball team, among many others. In 2016, it's estimated the various tournaments raised over $26,000 for the organizations. As the course has evolved over the years, there is another Kendall getting into the game of golf and specifically into the golf course. Mr. Ted's grandson, Whit Kendall, moved into the house across the road, revamped the old green the course once used, and turned it into a practice area. Witt says he is happy with the decision his grandfather made years ago to put a golf course on part of the farmland. It's just unique because, I mean, if you look at it compared to the other ground, if you just put a fence up around it and, you know, let cattle on, I mean, it would look just like, you know, the rest of the farm within a couple of months. So it's just unique that that's kind of what he wanted to do with this piece of ground. And I just think it's awesome that it's just carried on through the years. And it's definitely something that I want to keep the tradition going. And it does raise a lot of money for other people. And I mean, I've had tons of good memories out here. I know other people have too, so it's just a lot of fun. One of the many unique things about the Halifax Holes is when they have a tournament, it truly is a shotgun start. <laughs> and they're off. From the best kept secret in golf, I'm Jonathan Parrish reporting. What a neat story. That was a lot of fun. I know you love golf. Maybe load up the clubs, go play around out there. Yeah, I need to do that. Beautiful course for mm -hmm. sure.